Does your guide dog tell you things? Can't you have that laser treatment? From your emails, I couldn't tell you were blind. Does your mum help you get dressed? Awkwardly, she still does. Yeah, I know, it's embarrassing. Mm. Are your other senses heightened? Oh my God. Everyone thinks you become Daredevil. Daredevil? Like, Daredevil. They've watched too much Daredevil. And they're like, and they're like, can you do echolocation? Yeah. I saw a documentary on it. You don't look blind. <laughs> They think like if you're either blind or you're not. Mm -hmm. So like you, if you're blind, you have to have a guide dog or you have mm -hmm. to have a stick or you have to have like sunglasses. They'll say, oh, but it's a compliment. And I'm like, <laughs> how is a comment that's insulting the other two million people who live with <laughs> yeah. sight loss a compliment? I get it a lot in the Paralympics as well. They say, well, you don't look like you're blind. So I bet, I bet you're lying. I bet you're just doing that so yeah. you can run with like slower people. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you don't look stupid, but I'm pretty sure you are. People so. think they've caught you out on this big facade. They'll look at the cane and then they'll look at my eyes to see if I'm telling the truth. Even the term blind itself is really misleading because, you know, people can be registered blind but still have some vision left, like myself. It just means that your vision is to the level where it's not useful anymore. So it doesn't mean that you can't see shapes, that you can't see outlines, shadows. I've had literally comments on my YouTube videos where people are like trying to prove because out of some actions that I do on my videos, like mm. you look at those hair clips which means your eyes must work. I've had it once before when I was walking down the street and someone said, you're not fucking blind, mm. don't lie. And it's kind of like, I couldn't even see where they were to tell them off. People talking to the person you're with instead of you, oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. They always speak to my boyfriend, they're like, so, so what is, what's Lucy up to today? And it's exactly. Like, and then I answer and interject and they're like, oh, she speaks. It always happens in shops for me, always. Like, if I'm with someone, they'll be like, yeah. oh, have you got what you wanted looking at the person I'm with? But what I get most is the patronising, are you all right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, are you? I'm not deaf. Because they automatically assume that people that can't see, like, are sort of mentally challenged or <laughs> something. <laughs> Everything goes a bit slower and a bit more like, are you okay? There's so many times where someone's come up to me like, can she read the bus numbers? I have had this so many times. They'll be like, oh, it's amazing how she can read the bus numbers. <laughs> I did have a situation where a friend of mine, someone lent down, he was asking directions, someone lent down and spoke to the dog, said, go up there, turn left, <laughs> take a right, to the dog, as if the dog could understand. Ah, uh, this is my favourite. See you later. Oh, sorry. Oh, the amount of times I've had someone <laughs> think that I'm going to get offended just at the word see. Yeah, they, they feel like they have to avoid their vocabulary and yeah. choose certain words. And I, like in the Paralympics, it's, it's what they do the most. So for example, mm -hmm. my friend who has one leg, mm -hmm. uh, and we're having an argument, I'm like, shut up, you don't even have a leg to stand on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, disabled people in general are appalling at making disabled jokes, like at the Paralympics in the lift. People had stuck rice over the braille so that the blind people couldn't use it properly. What's the best thing about being blind? <laughs> Disable badge at Christmas. You know, I can get can go can go free into certain art galleries and stuff and can go free into like exhibitions and that. I'm you know, I'm winning. <laughs> Although I when we went to New York I said to the person, I'm really sorry, my, my girlfriend's <laughs> blind and so am I. So is we can't anyway? queue. <laughs> and they're like that's absolutely fine. We can go to the front. And we just went to the front, didn't but we? But it was the front to go ice skating. <laughs> I don't really know. That's a, that's a, that's a very interesting question. Let's Not for me. Let's get I it. wish I wasn't blind. Let's... People say, if, if there was a cure, would you have it? Or, you know, if, if, if you could be cured of your sight loss, would you? And then, like, I say no. I say no, I'm quite happy in my own self. And then people are so shocked when you say that. Like, <laughs> I would be fully sighted if I could be. I mean, there are so many little things that you don't think about, like not being able to drive. The daily stress of being blind, having to plan everything. Plan everything. And I think there'll always be a part of me like, I don't remember my mum's face anymore. I don't remember my boyfriend's face anymore, and that's sad. But if I don't accept that and overcome that, those fears and worries every day of my life, you're just going to be unhappy, aren't you? <laughs> and then, and then cute people say you're an inspiration, you know, or you're amazing because you're happy to have a disability, and it's like, oh, okay. you're blind and you're happy. That's like, <gasps> oh my god.